Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Dredge. We've just had a couple of uh, days, or, or was it one day and one night? No, it was a couple, no it was, yeah, <laughs> it was a couple of days and a night, and quite a lot of things have happened already. It's quite uh, interesting. We've sold our fish. Uh, we don't unfortunately have enough to buy the better fishing rod, so we're just gonna undock for now and try to get more fish before it gets too dark to see. It's already getting very dark and the fish, I think, just go away. Alright, call- ooh! Oh! Arrow squid! Interesting! Rises from the depths at night to feed or be fed upon. Interesting, that's cool. I wonder how much they pay for this. Ooh, nice. Nice. Ooh! Trophy. This one is 34 centimeters. Alright, depleted. So we've got... See, there should be fish up here. So let's see if there still are. No, I think the stuff changed. No, they are. They are. Okay. Ah, but you can see now that the fog prevents us from seeing a lot. Ooh. Okay, there we go. You know, I usually don't care much for mini games and uh, and stuff, but these are short and sweet. I like. It. What is that? Yeah, you can see how much it changes. Um. Okay, let's. Uh, what what is what what is that? What is that? There was a shape down there. I don't like. I cannot get this. Okay. Oh, fish. Ooh. No, more dredge. I can do this. Disturb water. Oh no, it's not dredge. I need fish. Oh, the little eye up there is going a little more. Oh, there was some fish there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I still don't quite understand how the panic thing works up there. I'm sure the game is going to tell us at some point. But we definitely need more fish right now. Uh, no fish here either. Darn it. Uh. gonna oh yeah th there's the there's the panic going up I don't know what happens if you panic too much but maybe let's get back oh something slithers into your cargo hold what what do you mean what do, what do you mean not caught what 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 do you mean um, I don't know what that does. Oh, fish. Or fish. Ah. This is cool. I love the ah, I love the atmosphere. I depleted. A sickly stench rises from your cargo hold. Oh no! Infected! Oh! That's what it was. Okay, damn it. Okay, let's discard that before it spreads. Uh, let's try to get a couple more fish. I think we're taking too long. Or maybe it was that thing that just sort of crept up into the cargo hold. That's creepy, I love it. Right, let's get some fish here. Make sure we can buy that uh, better fishing line so we can make more money. I wish it was caught here, that would be nice. Uh, 
Uh, I think that's about it. I can't really take on more fish, so let's get back before this stuff starts going bad. Hello. These are all stale. Uh, so he's stale. Wow. What the hell? Arrow squid lost to the birds! No! Get away! No! No! Leave my stuff alone! At least they're eating the stale stuff. No! Oh, that sucks. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to take uh, to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh. Wow. Why are you here? Uh, I've come to fish. Uh. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Huh. Alright, fishmonger. Fresh, fresh. So let's see. Stale versus fresh. Yeah, there's a big difference in money. Ooh. Okay. Uh, oh, you can sell all fish. Wow, okay. So there's... Have you seen that strange red light at night? It seemed to be rising from the west. Huh. Um, so, uh, yeah, wow. You, you need to be pretty fast, you can't just keep collecting fish. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news! Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day. In fact, I've granted a consent from the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We were glad you've chosen to be here with us. Excellent. Dry dock. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're taking... Uh, we're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for those projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. Ah, we'll need to dredge them up. How do I get the materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure we'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Ah, so it's like a tech tree. Bed spaces, rod spaces, engine spaces, light space, new hull. Okay. Let's go to the shipwright. You want a variety of tackle to catch all the fish out there. Make sure you're prepared for whatever you come across. Shallow, shallow. Let's uh, get the shallow 150. <laughs> I'd really like a light. But it's so expensive. 10 meters, 20 meters. This is a hundred, which leaves me... Yeah, I can either get this weighted line or the simple skimmer. Let's get the simple skimmer. I know. Three hours, eh? Okay. So that leaves me with nothing for the lights. Um, we'll just have to do that as we go. Mayor. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's put it here. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Oh, don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Oh, okay. So, we need to go to Little Marrow. So, just on the other side. Let's not tarry too much. I'll, uh, I'll get that one fishing thingy over there. Man, I'm enjoying this game a lot. Oh, there's another one there. I guess I could do that as well. Stock high, disturb water. I love what they've done with the inventory. That's really cool. Deplete it. Okay. 
Uh, see that? Those fish are gone. And these fish are here now. Oh, excellent. Ooh. Depleted. Okay. Time to deliver this. How's the, uh, let's see. It doesn't say anything about being stale. The contents don't feel like anything at all. Just a rat mess of shapes. Hmm. <laughs> what? Delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Yeah, nice and fresh. That'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. I was given the old book a few weeks back, but I don't make much. It uh, didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. Ooh, a research book. Sustainable fishing. He pulls out a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Let's see. Read to unlock. Reading zero percent complete. Oh. Past time to read. Cool. So this is a bit like uh, uh, EVE Online, where you have to spend time to do stuff. Okay, now, I can't trade him, trade him th these fish, so we have to get back right now. So these don't go too stale. And we can still get some money for them, and we can sleep in. Oh, oh, what is that? What the hell is that? Unless that's, uh... Oh, that's our panic rising, probably. How are they? Are they still... They're still fresh. They're still fresh. Okay, good. We didn't really catch that much, but... Okay. Let's dock and sleep. Uh, fishmonger? Some fish prefer deeper water, while others stick to the shallows. Uh, let's see. These are all fresh. Excellent. There we go. And now we can actually buy a better line. Well, no, not yet. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, I'll get some more. Let's sleep first. Resting until dawn. What is that red thing over there? Is that what they're talking about? Because west is towards there. So what is that over there? Maybe it's just a town marker or something. All right, let's undock and get some more fishies. This is so cool. Can we catch these now? I, I believe we should be able to, right? Yeah, shallow. Let's see. Oh, gold flounder. These are big boys. Big boys indeed. A pathetic, cowardly, bottom-dwelling fish. Oh, be nice. Hopefully they go for a, ah, for a lot, because uh, they're extremely big. Okay, deplete it. Can we get another spot? There's some stuff we need to dredge up there, and there's some fishes here. And big fish over there. Do you see that? I wonder if we can uh, fish those already. Probably not. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, would there be a better way of doing this? Uh... I don't think so, really. It's this rod that's a problem. This is depleted anyway. Okay, let's go back. Sell this stuff. Power! What else do we have, actually? We got a foghorn. Make your presence known. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> And, ooh, spyglass. Can identify fishing spots at a distance. And it doesn't take... Oh, it doesn't take any... Oceanic, there we go. It doesn't take any... Um, time to do this. I like that a lot. Shallow. 
cod, gold flounder, blue mackerel. Ooh, blue mackerel, eh? Unfortunately, it's gonna be nighttime very soon. Well, I mean, it's past noon barely, but yeah. Have you got any fish for that order? Yes. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. Well, eels, yeah. We can catch them. And we need nets for them. Or we can use nets, I guess. All right, come back when you have everything. Now to regular business. I found that bo this book out back. Could be useful to you. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Oh, thank you. So these go for 15. Hmm, they're not very worth it, to be honest. The squids are way, wor way more worth. Because these are so big. But now we can, in fact... Uh, we can, in fact... No nets yet. We can get a light, cloudy lens. Yes. I mean, you know, it's another spot <coughs> taken, but there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And I cannot research anything. So, let's uh, undock. No, 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 no. Wait, I might actually use that. See if that blue mackerel is still there. Blue mackerel, yep. But before I get there... Oh, blue mackerel here as well. Oh, wait a second. Aren't these the basic fish? Oh, yeah, that, that's nicer. Ooh, there we go. That's what I need. That is what I need. I need the gray eels. Excellent. A slimy creature tainted with the slit and muck of the seabed. Ooh, yeah. These are trickier. Slimier. Ah! The problem is, so much time passes, you really need to do this quick. Oops. Ah, damn it. There's a lot of fish here. So let's see, what else we got? Are those the uh, blue mackerels there? No, dredge. The mackerels are gone. What else do we got? There's something there. Oh, something here as well. Oh, it's the big boys. No, yeah. Is it? No, it's something different. Ooh. What are these? Uh, black grouper. Oh, <laughs> cool. They're also pretty big. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> How to do this? I don't think there is any way. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, no. There really isn't, to be honest. That's as much as I can do, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, let's get back. Oops. Oh yeah, look at that light. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's something red over there. And I don't think it's on the island. Right, fishmonger. Yes, I do have them. I've got the eels. Nope. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. 48. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nighters are like around here. Good luck. Yes, I do actually have... And he wants a couple of fish as well. How much do they go for otherwise? It doesn't say right now, but well. Alright. Let's sell these. 16 for each. Oh, not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain 
abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell just looking from the surface. Interesting. Alright. If you're wanting to get a bit more out of your engines, take a look through this book. On the house, she pulls a book from a toolbox nearby and hands it to you. A few of the pages are stuck together with grease. So there's nothing I can really do here. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Let's go cash some of the squids. Cabin. This is 66% complete. Reels and rigs. And correct engine operation. This is going to be a problem now. But I want to find squids. Come on. Where are they? Yeah, you can see how the fog gets uh, removed. Come on. Give me some squids. Just need some squids. Come on. Where's the squids? Ugh. Why does that happen? Oh. Stingrays. Nice. Oh, they're huge. Um. Wow. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Shard ray? What the hell is that? Wait. Good eating, but it requires careful preparation. The stone skin of this ray is molded around a black crystal shard. The rock fragments articulate and grind together. What the hell is this? Damn it. Uh. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's, there's no way. No, there's nothing I can do about this. That sucks. Oh, man. I need more space. Fucking engine, the, the fishing rod is in the way. Uh, yeah, there is no way I can do this. That's a shame. Okay. Back we go. Let's see if we can get some fish in the meantime as well, some smaller ones. Oh, yeah, you see that line of sight? Oh! What was that? Ooh. Yeah, that fog of war is, is hard. It's not like... You'll see stuff sort of in the distance. No, it just stops. Haven't found any squids, unfortunately. Well, let's sell these. I wonder if you can research that. Can you research it? No. Engines. Okay, fishmonger. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. <sighs> ah, now, this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm. I wonder... He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Oh wow, that's a lot. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish patterned with delicate crimson thread. Interesting. Okay. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you're 
took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know the extract, uh, extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Oh, wow, well, that's going to be quite far away, isn't it? Meet the Blackstone Isle. Map. It's over there. Okay, we can go there. We've been there before. Encyclopedia. Yeah, there he goes. Rod, troll, pot, one cot. Alright. So let's go south. Try not to get eaten by something. Don't really think I should be getting these right now. But let's do it anyway. Considering that, uh, you know, they'll go stale. Sustained fishing. Oh, you also read while fishing. Okay. Ugh. Tusker grouper. Pig-like tusks protrude from the mouth of this ravenous brute. With no eyes to speak of, it attacks indiscriminately. What the hell? Uh, let's actually go back so they don't go stale. And we can have another artifact for that guy. This is cool. There doesn't appear to be any penalties, though, for um, taking your time. So, you know, we're just going back now. And Oh my! You look exhausted! You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Yeah, I'm... Uh a little panicky, it seems. Have you got any fish for that order? Well, I've got one. Oh, no. Wait, what? I don't, actually. Make sure you're getting enough rest. Tired eyes won't fare well in these waters. So, can I not? I guess I just sell it to him. He doesn't give me any stuff for it. Huh. Okay. It's a shame. Before we sleep, let's go and go to that man. Faster! Power! I think I might panic. Ooh, what is that over there? What is this? Oh, grotesque mackerel. What the hell is going on in this place? Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've seen before. I love the, uh... I love the little... Um, stingers as well. It's very cool. Okay, let's hope these will stay fresh. So we can sell them for a nice tiny profit. There we go. Ruined mansion. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. Oh, I need to read the other books. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Hmm. These patterns are unmistakable, even after all this time. This handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance, as you can imagine. Retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in dark depths. Find me these lost relics, and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. What, I'll be all powerful? You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. No, let me read in the meantime. <laughs> 
The relics were looking for a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Okay. And this workshop still has the, uh, yeah. Arterial engine. Which is only seven knots. And you cannot really put it anywhere. You can't take it and sell it, I guess. Um, right, so before I do this, I should really read another book. Uh, correct engine operation? Let's do that so we'll be faster, I guess. Look at this thing. Search for relics. Okay, now. Why? Now we can actually dredge stuff. There we go. Shapes in the deep. Stock low. Start dredging. Press F to change lanes and avoid... Oh! Wait. Oh, F. You see. It would be nice if it told me that before it actually started to end the time. Okay, what did we get? Oh. Worn gold ring. I guess we just sell it for a profit. Oh, there's something there, but they're going to escape before I get there. Well, probably not. It's not going to be nighttime that quickly. I need the squids. Trophy! Nice. Oh, depleted. Trophy caught. All right. There we go. Fishmonger. Don't overcommit yourself, especially when that sun starts going down. Better to come back with a small catch than not to come back at all. Nice. And this one, which is still fresh. Excellent. What about this? Lighthouse Keeper. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Mm. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fox tricks? Who lives on Blackstone Isle? Mm. I see a lot of uh, from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through these windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. I should go. Builder. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? Uh, it's difficult. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. It's not so bad here. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Okay. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Okay. What can I do for you? I want to ask uh, about the wide region. Certainly. Is there something in particular you wish to know more about? Blackstone Isle. Hmm. I don't know a great deal. It technically falls under the jurisdiction of Little Marrow. I believe it was sold to a private owner some 20 years ago. It must have had special arrangement. Such a sale is quite uncommon. Very complicated paperwork involved, you see. I've not met the owner. I suspect they don't live around here. The island seems quite uninhabited. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Kale? 
uh, Gale Cliffs. Well, the main port over there is a place called Ingfell. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of these days. I think quite a few people have left, one way or another. What about Stellar Basin? Hmm. Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the tall, uh, on the at atoll, built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Twister Strand. Hmm. Mm, I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mess of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You'd want some good light and a good sense of direction if you're going to explore there. What about Devil's Spine? Ah, yes. It's quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst the city of ancient ruins. Ooh. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your hull. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling from here. Is there another area? No. Uh, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Shipwrecks? Unfortunately, there have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps, but even it struggles to cut through the fog some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur around the side of the island. That should make fishing a bit easier for you. Around the back, though, it's a little harder to get, though. Uh, there are still some wrecks towards the deeper patches. You'll want to avoid that area. Alright. What do you know about any strange occurrences? Well, I heard that my counterpart in Little Marrow met the most unfortunate end. They say he went mad quite suddenly. One day he was normal, the next he was pacing at the shoreline, hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mayor is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included, and those that do remember they don't seem to be uh, to like talking about it. A most unpleasant subject. What happened to the last fisherman? Hmm? The last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running ar aground on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. All right. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. A big thank you to my patrons, as always. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.